Here's a preview of our sample mobile directory. As you can see, it has links to categories. You can arrange the buttons however you'd like to list businesses within your mobile directory. You also have the search widget, which allows you to search for deals and businesses by keywords, as well as by miles or kilometers from your location. Now let's talk about how you can set up your mobile directory and customize it. Every account you create within your mobile directory is basically a listing for a business or a website that is part of your mobile directory. To add a new business to your mobile directory, all you need to do is click on Accounts and then click Create New and then set up a new account. An account could be a listing or a website. The difference between listings and websites is that websites have custom mobile domains such as m.businessname.com whereas listings would be on the subdomain of your main mobile directory domain. Websites also have additional functionality such as custom HTML editing and some additional widgets that are available. So here you can specify your business category, enter a company name, and you can also give your clients access to this account so that they can modify their content. Now let's talk about how to make your listing or website searchable within your mobile directory. Well, there's two things you need to do. One, click on the settings within that accounts dashboard. Once you're there, you can enter search terms that you would like to use to that would be relevant to that particular business. For instance, we're looking at a taco restaurant right now, so we could enter some food terms that users might search for in looking for that particular business. Uh, it's basically standard SEO type search terms. The second thing you'll need to do is to make sure that you've added a location for this business. To add a location or multiple locations if there's multiple stores, you would click on geolocation stores. You create a location set and then you would add one or multiple locations right here. Of course, for each listing and website, you can add coupons. You click on edit any page on the listing or website and then just add a coupon widget from the left hand side and add it to the page. Here we already have a coupon added to the page and within that coupon you can see that you can have images, expiration dates, descriptions, redemption instructions and different social sharing options as well as being able to specify what type of redemption process you'd like to enable for those coupons. You can display a redeem button once or display it multiple times per customer or have no redeem button for the customer to see at all. So now let's talk about how we can customize the home page of your mobile directory. First of all, let's find our main mobile directory account, which would be listed as the DIR account here in the list of accounts. Click on use this account and then click on pages and find the main page for the mobile directory. On that page you will have a builder and it will show a widget called the mobile directory widget. Click on edit for that widget and here you can customize different colors, different backgrounds, you can also specify the search radius for those uh, search widget options. On your home page of your mobile directory, here's our home page on the right. You can also add any other widgets you'd like. So if you'd like to customize the pictures, social sharing links, or add additional icons, you can always do that. Simply add widgets from the left to the page that you're looking at. 
You can also set up your category links. So to add category links, all you need to do is add a link or a button widget to your page, edit it, and then link it to your category. For these links, you have different li linking options, and the business categories are one of the linking options. So here we have where to stay that links to our hotels and lodging categories. If you have multiple levels of categories, such as we have here for places to eat, uh, you can go into different styles of food, different cuisine types. What you can do is set up an intermediate page. Let's go back to our main pages here. And here we've set up an intermediate page for restaurants. And all that page does is display four links that are the categories or cuisine types for that uh, subcategory within your directory. So you can see the business category for Mexican being under the different type of restaurant cuisine. And then on the main mobile directory page, we're linking to places to eat. And that links to the intermediate page for restaurants that shows those four subcategories. So now let's open our mobile directory in a regular browser. So here we have it set up. And as you can see, clicking on places to eat takes you to that intermediate category for restaurants. That also links to subcategories under that, which include uh, the listings or pages in that category. Or we can do a search in the search widget for tacos, and the search result comes back with uh, a specific business as well as an offer if one is available or coupon. And clicking on the search result takes you to that listing or website for that particular vendor. And here it is.